In this video, we will cover what a scientific logbook is and why it's an important part of your science fair project. We will also cover some helpful tips for how to keep a good logbook throughout your project. The number one rule for logbooks is very simple. Every science fair project must have a logbook. This is true for both experimental and non-experimental research projects. A logbook, which is also sometimes called a research notebook, is a very important part of your project. When it's finished, it will represent a complete permanent record of everything that you did during your project, as well as how and when you did it. It can include everything from the steps in your methodology and your observations to brainstorming thoughts and ideas. A logbook is typically written by hand and can also include pictures or drawings. If you prefer, you can also write your logbook on the computer, such as in Word or Google Docs. It's a good idea to keep any important contacts and forms in your logbook as well. Next, we are going to cover some tips for keeping a successful logbook throughout the course of your project. These same tips will apply whether you're writing your logbook digitally or by hand. Write your logbook in a notebook and make your entries in point form. Begin keeping a logbook as soon to the start of your project as you can. It's important to see how your ideas evolve over the course of your project. Make sure you put your name and contact information at the front of the logbook in case it ever gets lost. It's also a good idea to number all of the pages. Make a new entry each time you work on your project and remember to date each entry. Don't worry about neatness. The scientific method is often messy. You don't need to recopy your logbook to make it look tidy. Organize your logbook into sections such as schedule, daily notes and ideas, background research, contacts, references, experimental procedure and methods, data collection sheets, observations and results in graphs or tables, and conclusions. Write down everything, even if it seems insignificant at the time. Any information may become useful later on. Make sure you make special note of anything that you do differently in your procedure, or anything in the environment that is different and may affect your experiment. These small things may affect your results and will be hard to remember later on. Make sure that you describe things in enough detail that you or anyone else reading your logbook in the future would be able to understand your thoughts and repeat the entire experiment exactly like you did it in the first place, just by using your logbook. It's very important that you create your logbook as you go throughout your project. It is incorrect scientific method to go back and write your logbook after you have finished your project. Remember that your presentation board is just a summary of what is in your logbook. You don't need to fit everything in your logbook onto the board. There should be much more information in your logbook than is on your presentation board. The same goes for this year's online project format. This year, logbooks will be uploaded as an attachment. If you are typing your logbook, then you will simply upload your logbook file. If you're writing your logbook by hand, you will need to scan it. Because of this, we suggest writing your logbook on a pad of paper or using loose leaf paper in a binder that can be opened. This way the pages can be separated and scanned easily. You may then save your scans as a PDF and upload them to the website. Make sure that you remember to bring your logbook with you on the day of the fair, or have it ready to show the judges if you are being judged virtually. The judges will definitely want to see your logbook. For more information about the content and sections that you should have in your logbook, please go to cysf.org and visit the document called What is a Logbook? on the Frequently Asked Questions page. For more great tips and information about the Calgary Youth Science Fair, make sure you check out our website at cysf.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.